Hey Ross, where my money makes money, stash. Talking about stash again. Now stash is upping the ante with their organization. Let me tell you why. Robin Hood killing them. Robin Hood is killing them because stash is charging us what? $5 a month, or is it a dollar? I'm gonna stick with a dollar until I get better information because I actually forgot. But I have a Sash account and I absolutely love it. I love the portfolio names. I like the intuitive app. I like the way they break down everything, the performance, the way the index fund or the ETF, the inception date, and the continuous growth or decline throughout the time of that particular fund. I love Stash, I do. Here's the thing, they're coming out with individual stocks that you can once again only invest, not only, take that back, <laughs> you can invest $5 into. And this is actually a great thing, but my question is this, are you gonna charge me, Stash? Are you gonna charge me? Or you're gonna to continue to charge me the nominal fee that you have, or it's gonna be an addition because I'm now in individual stocks. Now, I'm okay with the index funds and the ETFs that I have with Stash. I have about five or six portfolios with Stash that I put my own amount in there, and now they don't individual stocks. So some stocks will grow, right? Take for instance, Berkshire A. The stock is worth like $300,000. It shows no signs of slowing down. So if I can invest $5 in Berkshire A, and it raises another hundred thousand dollars. I didn't do the math, but I'm gonna make some money off of five dollars. The question is, is Stash gonna charge me? Is Stash going to make an addition to the amount I'm already paying them for doing my portfolios in the first place? Here's the thing: they're doing a vote, they're doing a survey. I have the link in the description. Just click on it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. They're really trying to get this generated, trying to get it started. So you guys can now invest in those very expensive or cheap stocks, right? And you just don't want to put the whole price of the stock inside of it. But you say, okay, I got $30. The stock like Facebook today, I believe, was $178. So I'm going to go ahead and put $30 in there because I'm not going to buy the whole stock of Facebook because some news thing came out saying that people are going away from Facebook. I don't know. Just an example. But Stash... Even if you're not inside of the, you know, you're not into the whole individual stocks, once again, Stash is a great way to invest in index funds and ETS funds, so exchange traded funds. So if you don't know anything about Stash, I'm gonna have two links. One is for the vote for the individual stocks, and another one is just simply signing up for Stash, and it's gonna give you $5. Hey, listen, somebody gonna give you $5? Take it. There's also a link for Robinhood. If you're new to Robinhood, when you sign up using my link, you get a free stock and <laughs> I get a free stock. So go ahead and use that so I get my free stock breath and ladies. So this is Ross World. Check it out. Tell them what you think. I'm out.